All right, a common mistake when people kick is they contact the ball too far out here. Okay, so what we want to do is bring the ball back in. So when we're kicking, we push the ball out and bring it back in. The common mistake people make is when they push it out, they leave the ball out there and they contact not here, they contact out there, which affects their body position and the power through the footy. So once again, push the ball out and bring it back in. Okay, a common mistake with you young ones is that you love a bit of a bicep curl. So you like to bend your arm in that lifting phase like this. Okay, that doesn't give you much ball control. So what we want to do is we want to push it out and then bring it back in. Wow. You'll see a lot of footy photos where everyone's kicking and they're like this, fanned out. That's a common mistake in footy. So when we get it, we don't actually want to drop it from here, creating us to do this with both hands, like so. Instead, we want to lengthen and control it below our waist so we can get that perfect hit zone. Show us. So we're not fanning out, we're controlling it. So a common mistake is people's foot shape. We want our foot and our ankle to be locked out at contact so we can get maximum power through the ball. We do not want our foot pointing up. That'll scoop the footy up in the air. So we want a solid foot shape, ankle locked out. All right, another common mistake with juniors is that when they kick the ball, their momentum actually goes back. So they're not getting much um, fluent motion through the footy. So what we actually want to do after we kick, we want to finish forwards like so. Okay, and you can put out markers to make sure that you can get that forward momentum. All right, another common mistake with junior footballers is when they kick the ball, their momentum actually goes backwards like so. Okay? What we want to do is we want to finish forwards. So try to put a marker out at a contact point and where you want to finish. So once you kick, you get forward momentum. The cue you really want to use is momentum! <laughs> um, another common mistake you'll see with kids or anyone kicking is um, they won't put, have their balance arm up. So if we don't have our balance arm up, we're not balanced, we're not going to be able to control ourselves. A little cue I like to think is I'm waving to the other person. That's what I like to think. So as I go to kick, I make sure it's up. It's okay if it's like this, but I just think that waving motion and... Boom. So I'm nice and stable, controlled. And I'm saying hey to my friend. <laughs> okay, another common mistake that we see is that we don't watch the ball onto our boot. It's really important that we watch it onto our boot in order to make good contact with the ball. And also, if we look up, it throws our body backwards. Okay, so that can also throw the kick off. So here's one where I'm going to look up. Like, I don't, I, my body's going backward. I'm not watching the, foot, uh, the ball onto my foot. Here's me looking down. Much better Woo! kick. Okay. Common mistake number 17. <laughs> All right, this is the robot kick. We don't lift it, we don't do anything. <laughs> Stiff arms, oh, terrible. All right, so this is a common mistake, but it's easily fixed. So we just want to get all loose, we're not stiff and we want to lift it up and control it down. This is going to create more fluency, more power. Get it out, pull it in. Oh, Bang! So Where's the Conor McGregor wall? <laughs> All right, common mistake is people are not gripping the football properly. So a lot of people we see are holding the football at the back. Okay, like this. What we want to do is get at least three fingers on the front and two on the back and we want a nice spread of fingers. We also suggest holding the ball up a little bit higher because this is the skinnier end of the football, which will allow for a nice controlled ball drop. So we don't want to hold it at the back, more fingers on the front, less on the back for a nice controlled bang.